Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992, and today we are back with another brand new episode of the National Squad Builder series. Now as you tell by the title of the video and name of that squad, that's of course going to be Sweden. Now this was requested by one of the subscribers, so if you do want to see a nation sort of reviewed and squad builder around it, make sure to fire down in the comments below and I'll certainly get to it. Now, but let's kick in right into the squad, I'm not going to try and pronounce this guy, so I'm just going to call him Isaac. Let's go with Isaac. Actually, it was really, really surprising. Usually, I hate silver goalkeepers, but this guy was absolutely amazing. I'm actually going to give him a 10 out of 10 for being a goalkeeper. I'm being deadly serious as well. He's absolutely phenomenal. Up there with Neuer and Rui Patricio of the series. Now, the right back is from Celtic, I believe. Not too much to say about him, really. He's good enough at sort of defending. Doesn't really go forward much. Him and Johansson made a really good partnership down the right-hand side. That's why I've skipped really right to him. They both worked really, really well and locked down that complete right-hand side of the field. Very little got past them at all, if I'm being honest with you. And the next player is going to be Granfest. And I've actually, I've got a little bit of a cold just now, that's why I'm a wee bit struggling to speak just now. But again, them two at the sort of left-back and centre-back position, really locked down the left-hand side. I've actually, going to be honest with you, Scott, this is one of the best sort of defences that I've used so far in the National Squad Builder Series, and that really surprised me using them. They're really, really good. That, along with the goalkeeping being phenomenal as well, really, really, really love this sort of defensive work rate of the team. Now, let's kick right into the midfield, and it's Karlström, sort of the old... I'm sure he played for Arsenal the other season, he came on loan. Good enough player, chipped in with a couple of assists and stuff like that. Him and Wembrum was mostly just protecting the back four, if I'm being honest with you. Breaking up the play, starting to kick things in. You see Wembrum's actually got six assists with eight with eight games, which is really high turnaround for a CDM. He got great positional awareness in that as well. But let's kick right in more of the offensive weapons now. And not even going to try and call him this game. I'm just going to call him Gusty. Let's go be Gusty. Gusty's really good, or Augustus maybe, uh, Augustus is really good at long shots as that's his main attribute, and I actually really liked his height as well for goal kicks and stuff like that as well, he won a lot of headers, because I was going to play Larson in here for Sebastian Larson that plays for Sunderland, but I went with this guy just because of his height and I was not disappointed, he had some real rippers on him, chipped him with an assist and I believe he's got 100% match efficiency rating for attacking with that 6 goals and 2 assists. Now the right wing, I'm actually playing a left winger there because of the chem glitch, and this is Forsberg. Forsberg? Is it Forsberg? I'm just going to rock with that anyway. And he was actually really good, lads. Um, um, he was really good with the ball. He didn't have much pace, though, and his shooting was really disappointing. But you could give it to him, and you could just work his sort of skill moves and stuff like that as well. Speaking of skill moves, you do have this other guy. We've got it in the left wing position. I believe he plays for um, in the German Bundesliga. And he's actually, he he was doing what I, sh I thought the team of the season was going to do. Cutting inside, driving inside with his pace, with his strength and finishing. I really wish the other guy had done that, but you can see they've got similar goals scored. And overall, they were good enough wingers. They got the ball out. They're both pretty tall on that as well. So they could win headers and they're quite strong on the ball. Now, the next player, as you probably saw by the, t the start of this video, the intro, which was a wee bit crazier than what I usually do, is un freaking believable like, I know there's a lot of hype about Zlatan and stuff like that as well, but in this game, I've never really used any of his cards, to be honest with you, apart from the one that I packed. I believe I packed the 96 rated sort of Ebra. I don't know if I'll ever upload that, though, because that's before I was uploading. But you see here, this guy, he, he actually takes me down. This guy's actually a subscriber now. I'm not sure. I think he recognised me after the game, or, and, he, and he left a comment on my previous video saying, like, blah, 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 that, that I just beat him 10-0. So I felt really bad about that, so I really do apologise. <laughs> but I've got to play it just the way I've got to do it, just to get the clips and stuff like that as well, so I've got to be uh, sort of aggressive and sort of, <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, uh, taking it easy on any of my subscribers, so I do apologise, but I did have to get the clips out there just to show how good Ibra is, now obviously he's my focal point in the attack, so I could cut in there and shoot myself, but I wanted to try and do something, I actually tried to score an overhead kick there, but he done the flying Dutchman header, and you can see he's just absolutely phenomenal, here's loads of skill moves isn't that as well, you think Craig, you've just took the ball away from the box, nope, cuts inside, flips around one more time, shoots, bangs one in the top bin, that's what Ibra can do, lads. He's actually the top goal scorer now. He's took over El Lewandowski. I really feel bad for him. Lewandowski only had it for a couple of for a couple of days after taking it for the mantle from Ronaldo. But now Ibra is now the top goal scorer. I believe he got 23 goals or something like that in eight games, which is going to be quite impossible to sort of beat. So it's going to take someone's real, really, really good performance. But you can see these goals are absolutely of the higher sort of class. And there's actually tons of them in that as well. <laughs> see that Cruyff they turn? You can just pull on his bodies that defender out of the way and finish his sort of perfect. He's a rage quick sort of machine. He just gets the ball at his feet, just puts it underneath a spell, and he's bangers from outside the box. Um, so there you are, 23 goals and 8 games for uh, Ibra, he's now the top goal scorer, I did use Larson a couple of times as well, got an, a wee cheeky assist in there as well. Uh, but lads, that's basically it, I, I'm just showing you what I usually do with the squad sometimes with good 
we got these like sort of stamina. But that's for the squad lads, and thanks for Frostline for requesting this squad. I'm going to show you some of the like the match sort of ratings and stuff like that as well, so you can see every game that I did play with the squad and how many tournaments and stuff like that I won. I won two out of two. Played eight games, obviously won eight games quite comfortably. If I'm being honest with you, that was the finals. That was a rage quit as well in the first half. I believe I was up three one. The guy rage quit, and there you are. It's ten goals <laughs> there for um, Ibra. So that's what it ended up breaking the record. If I'm being honest, if it wasn't for that, um, Lewandowski's goal scoring record might still be intact. But that's basically been everything from the squad. I actually really, really enjoyed it. The squad, the price of the squad has cost about one uh, one million coins, mostly because of Ibra cost about seven hundred and fifty or so. So if he, his price goes down, I seen that the other day. It's been down about 700. I'd probably say about 850 of the squads probably is just now. So if you have that, definitely try this squad man for man. You'll absolutely love it, especially that goalkeeper and that as well. He's a real surprise player. But I've been CJ Novo 992. Thank you for watching. And bye bye.